At one time, we never did a full review about Solas the Crown of the Magister, there were only, only a couple reviews, including an early version. Meanwhile, this is only large computer RPG today, along with Baldur's Gate 3, that works within the modern rules and trends of the D&D desktop system. It's made according to the rules of RCD 5.1. And now there is a great reason to talk about it again. A major story edition, Lost Volley, has been released. Moreover, it turned out to be indicative of the main game, because in general it reflects its pros and cons. What are the main advantages of Solasta Crown the Magister? Well, first of all, this is a hardcore party RPG, the authors of which are themselves veterans of role players, and therefore I immediately declared to desire to create a most accurate adaption of the board game. Accordingly, the rules of CRD 5.1 are very meticulously reintroduced here. This is also applies to the process of character generation. We choose not only race and class, but also hereditary traits and background. And the latter, among us, things even affects how often your character will swear, whether he will understand other languages. Otherwise, you simply won't talk to the representatives of some races. Whether he will come, a formalist who uses a lot of scientific terms in dialogues and atheist or egoist. And of course, this is reflected in turn-based tactical battles, which are the main dishes of Celeste. In addition uh, to all the mandatory elements, use of hate, consumable spells that can be interrupted to cover, attack of opportunity when damage is dealt to those who pass the firefighter and so on, many other nuances also taken into account, even how lit in the character in which trying to hit your archer. It's also important that Solas, the crown of the Magister, can and should be playing in Cope. It also allows you to create your own adventure in the built-in editor. The disadvantages against this background, unfortunately, are quests, extremely simple dialogues and faded characters, who only assassinaturally try to bring animation to the, what is happening. That is, they can pronounce a cue in accordance with the tuned character, but it's a rule, it will still sound primitive. In short and blunt, is Solasta Chronicle of the Magister is of course not Dragon Age, Baldur Gates or even Icewind Dale. Razor, it's closer to the ancient pool of radiance, ruins of myth, Draenor. That is, it's focused on battles and the non-linearity of dialogues and quests is only a tool of the desktop system, at the same time it's a consistence of its work. The tool is correct, exactly working, but realized without a soul. And in the Lost Valley add-on, uh, all these features of the game, one might say, were expanded. Let's start with not so good news. The new story campaign, 20 hours of playthrough, in terms of the quality of quests, dialogues and characters has become even more dry and formal applied. Our group of adventurers found themselves locked in the Gorth Falokin Wally, where they were asked to find some important character. As a result, we find ourselves embroiled in the showdown between the ruling despot rebels from among his political opponents and certain secret organization that is for own interest is ready to pit the rest and substitute innocent people. In general, the dialogues rarely go behind simple re remarks, which are often interrupted in mid-sentences. Sometimes there are often doubts about the mental abilities of not only the giants who hardly choose words they made their debut in the supplement, but all the characters. It's not necessary to talk about vivid images, that our wards are joking with each other and arguing animately, they are just talking heads, responsible for one or two of their primitive remarks in each conversation. On the other hand, this does not mean that Lost Valley is not interesting. Yes, there are no literally and other creative frills from Planescape, Torment and Pillars of Eternity, but there are enough quests, locations, enemies, puzzles, traps and trills to make the game captive. And when you finally find two strange caves to the entrance to the cave that you saw a few hours ago, you will not regret that there are no long monologue or text quests about this, but rather run the check what is hiding behind the doors. In general, enough adventure. And they are all more interesting because new features have appeared not only in multiplayer and the dungeon editor, 
but also in a role playing and combat mechanics. So the new classes, druids, barbarians, spellcasters, debuted in past smaller DLCs, subclasses were added for each of the nine specialization. For example, barbarians following for the path of the claw have received a unique dragon skills, which druids from the circle of balance can help themselves, can call a various living creature and themselves can turn into a wolf, spider, bear, and other animal of different levels. So last the Lost Valley is really lacking, not too intuitive in terms of quests, text and the goodies party RPG, a big plot edition of it, which nevertheless fulfills its main function, for which uh, the project went through the Kickstarter Crucible on early access, uh, brings the rules of CRD 5.1 even more accurately into the virtual space and make it possible to pass many difficult tests. All fans of this role-playing system will be, if not happy, then certainly satisfied. Uh, but I thank you guys, thank you for watching us and don't forget like and subscribe. Bye bye.